Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba. Welcome to this presentation. Of course, today we are going to create the Eve for the model or the structure you're seeing on the screen here. And we'll go straight away and get started here. Now, from here, we have two points here just to, gi uh, to give us the point when we want to start to create the beam that will be will be holding the palin that will create attaching itself to the, to that beam now we'll go we'll come here right there we'll come to beam right there and we'll snap on that spot and just locate or place our cursor on that on that spot and uh, we feed in the, the dimension which is 300 we'll feed 300 there and uh, go straight on the keyboard and enter that we'll right click and interrupt just to 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 exit from that command, we'll double click on this beam to change the size and the profile. We'll click on that and the beam properties will be provided with this. We'll be prov we will be provided with this uh, uh, steel profiles catalog. Then we'll go straight to, we'll minimize that. We want to go to I-beam, I-beams and uh, we will pick the smallest here we'll pick that we'll apply it and give it an okay there then uh, we do the same here there by clicking modify and giving an okay there then we we'll double click on this to shift this to the middle point if it doesn't shift properly we'll, you know, we'll look at the the two middle points and we fix it with the middle point of uh, of our column now we'll come to position here We'll come. We'll come right. Uh, we'll feed right, and apply that. After doing so, we want to locate the midpoint between. We want to locate a midpoint between this this point and this point. We'll go to edit. We'll come. We'll come to uh, points there. We'll come to points there and. Uh, We'll come to points there and snap on that spot on that spot to get the midpoint of that column then uh, we want to get to the midpoint of this beam we'll come to points right there and pick that spot and snap on that spot and that spot we'll right click and interrupt to exit from that from that uh, from that command then we'll click on that on this member click move will uh, join this midpoint and this point to place this member at the middle of the column thereafter we want to bring this member down by 60 millimeter we'll right click and come to move after clicking move we'll snap at the middle right there and direct our cursor down here and we feed in 50 millimeter and enter on our keyboard right there now, having done that, we want to check the size of this member. It's okay. We'll go ahead and apply and accept that. Now, we want to connect this member and this member. And prior to that, we don't want we, we don't we don't want to interfere with the length of our beam here. We'll go ahead and undo and check whether some 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 part or or whether there is an extension of this beam inside the column we don't want to interfere with that length we'll click on that member come to move and snap right there and bring it right on that spot thereafter we can shift it down with the, with that with 60 mm downward we'll snap right there and just give direction of of of, uh, of our offset then we'll feed the offset dimension which is 60 and enter on the keyboard now from there we want to connect this beam and, and the column with the, an end plate joint yeah, you know, after clicking applications and component dialog box here just feed 101 if you're familiar with the numerical names of this connection I've typed 101 and we'll, we'll use that one, the first one. 
we'll use the first one let me click on uh, on empty screen to deselect my previous selection now i'll come back to end plate i want to connect this and this perfect you can go ahead and uh, adjust the connection by double clicking on it after double clicking on it now you can go to bolts and change the size of the bolt you can change this to 16 or you can uh, place your your washers there you can uh, shift the placement of the end plate by coming to to to, to either middle top or below let me show you uh, how it will appear when you select top that's how it will appear let's just bring it back to the middle because it, it's more presentable and uh, it's more presentable when uh, it it is on the middle position there now we want to place another member here let me let me just refresh that it has refreshed already now what i'm going to do is just to locate my marks but prior to doing that i want to copy this to the next column i'll click on this and right click and come to special copy and come to linear right up there and type six meters and uh one is okay and go ahead and click okay and uh let me check whether it has moved to that spot perfect uh, I want to mark to mark my two points that will guide me in placing another beam or a palin that will run from this end to the other end. Now I'll come to edit. I'll come to uh, ed ed I'll come to edit under edit. I'll come to points and pick the online, uh, which is the first option. Now I want to mark this spot and that spot just to get the midpoint of that beam then i'll come i'll go to the other end where we copied our beam here or uh, or or uh, i mean where we copied our, our member here then i'll come I'll, I'll come to edit right there and come to points right there and come to online then I'll snap right there and run all the way to the bottom end here, right here. Is not that's not the best position. I'll come again. I'll come to points there. I'll pick that spot and snap right here. And come all the way to the mid point, but down right there. After after clicking the two points, we will have created. A midpoint between the two points that we've clicked now this point and this point will be acting as a guideline when when we are going to place a member that will be running from this end to the other end then we'll come to steel we'll come to steel beam there and pick on the beam then we'll zoom closer and snap on the on that first point which is our first guide guiding point then run all the way to this end we'll snap right there right click and interrupt just to ex exit from now from that command now this is not is not the right member we preferred for for this particular uh presentation now we'll just double click on this to change that member we'll come to select under beam properties and uh, we'll change that member profile we'll change that that member profile from this catalog under this catalog we'll go down to steel connection steel selection limited here click that and we'll come to c sections here in c sections we'll come to real side but you can use any we'll come to ssl ssl see that that size apply and accept that then we'll come and do apply, accept, and do the, just the same thing. Now we've uh, we've uh, we've done the right thing, but the orientation of of our of our x y axis is not right. Now we'll just delete this, and uh, we want to 
we want to make we want to make sure that the member will be creating here or our eve will be will have the same slope with the other palings now i'll come i'll come to view and come to work plane tool here and pick work plane tool and click on that rafter to give to give us a, a slope that will be uniform to give us a slope that will guide us to have a, a beam that will place here or a, a palin that will place here have a uniform slope right from the pitch to the eave now from here is now we'll go is when we'll go to steel come to steel beam here and pick a beam then snap on this spot right there on the two points or the two guiding points that we created and we'll go all the way to this end right here we'll snap right there perfect now if we zoom out you can see this c section is taking is is, is taking or having a, a an an orientation similar to these palings or these palings now we want to reposition this by double click on on, the, on that c section then come to position right there come to on plane give it middle middle then come to middle also and see where it, it is locating itself and apply and accept and come back to control r we want to rotate about that spot perfect perfect we're on the good track now from here we want to connect this member and this member we'll come to we'll, we want to deselect this we'll come to end point uh, um, end plate we want to connect this and this perfect that's perfect now we'll double click on this and come to position right there and extend this by 300 apply and accept and prior to doing that we want to populate this prior to doing all that now we'll go ahead and and do this after undoing that after undoing that and also we'll come here and delete this after deleting that we want to change our work plane tool orientation and we'll come to view right there and come to work plane tool right there and place a work plane tool right there to to help us do a mirror the easiest way now we will select all this after selecting all that we'll come to we'll right click here and come to special copy and come back to mirror right there then we want to use these two points here as our mirror line we'll zoom closer and pick a point here we we'll pick a point right there and zoom out and pick a point here to be our mirror line go ahead and click copy and accept that right click and interrupt to exit from that mirror copy command if you zoom this side you'll see that we've done we've copied that member right there and now we want to populate this throughout the length of our model now we've selected the other end now we want to select this and that we'll right we'll go right ahead and right click and come to special copy and go to linear under linear please note that we've changed our x-axis is now 
is now now that uh, our x axis is, is facing the wrong direction now we'll we'll change that to zero and now use our z axis we'll give it a negative six meters we want to populate this about one 23 of them then we'll just go ahead and click copy and wait for the result if it has copied we'll go ahead and click ok then we can zoom in and check whether what we've done the copy command has been has, has taken effect perfectly well that is the copy command right click and come click on on that empty screen right click and come to redraw to refresh the whole thing again we just double click on this member after double clicking on it we will come to position right there and come to end offset and we'll be we'll feed negative 300 here to lengthen this perfect and remember this extension sh should be similar to this I mean for the for all the palings they should be they should have a, a uniform extension now we'll zoom to the to the other end double click on this yes zoom out we'll come to position here and try to do the same thing Uh, perfect but not is not it is not extending in the right direction we we'll feed 300 right there go ahead and apply and accept now if you come to navigate you can turn that round like that and uh, remember it's not a must that you should go to navigate you should go to view navigate you can also work or do a rotation through your keyboard shortcut by pressing Control R. Then uh, you click a point about you want, uh, about rotation. Uh, you, you click a point where you want to rotate your model your model about. Like I can press Control R, then pick my position there, right there, and I'll be able to turn this around like this. You can use both. You can use either view, navigate, rotated mouse, or you can do that through your keyboard shortcuts right click and interrupt that turn that round and you can check that they have been copied now from this end we'll continue in the next presentation I'm your presenter Morris Dimba and bye bye let's meet when we'll be creating the gutter for this model thanks and don't forget to subscribe for this presentation or this channel bye bye